Hello and welcome. You're watching Health and Wellness Save a Life. I'm Gargi Rawat. When medical emergencies like a cardiac arrest happen around a person, it's important to be prepared. You can help someone in a medical emergency only when you're clear as to what is to be done in such a situation. And if you're aware and informed well, then you can take steps to revive a person and save his or her life. Worldwide, millions of people die of sudden cardiac arrest. Uh, this is partly due to limited and sometimes ineffective bystander cardiopulmonary resuscitation, that's CPR. Many adults in cardiac arrest can be revived with intact neurologic functions if the bystanders provide immediate CPR. Save a Life is an initiative through which people will be made aware of the early signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest so that patients can get to the hospital in time and also be trained on giving CPR if the need arises. Today we have with us eminent cardiologists who can help you understand sudden cardiac death and the role of CPR to revive and save a life. We're joined by Dr. Avinash Ashok Gutte, consultant interventional cardiologist, Ashirwad Heart Clinic, Panvel, Dr. Darpan Chaudhary, interventional cardiologist, United SSH and Trauma Center, Gondia, and Dr. Kabir K. Sethi, consultant interventional cardiologist, Delhi Heart and Lung Institute, Super Specialty Hospital here in Delhi. Thank you so much, doctors, for joining us on the program and, you know, talking about this important issue and explaining to people. All right. So important to understand all these uh, differences. Uh, Dr. Chaudhary, as we know, heart failure is when your heart is unable to pump blood, which is sufficient to meet the body's needs. Uh, can heart failure lead to sudden cardiac arrest? Yeah, definitely. Heart failure can lead to cardiac arrest. As Avinash, sir, correctly said, heart failure leads to abnormal electrical malformation that leads to heart into uh, rate goes very slow or rapid or irregular because of that heart does does not able to pump the blood and it abruptly dis, uh, disrupt the flow of heart to the lung and brain and that leads to abrupt loss of function of this function and that leads to death what are the different causes for heart, heart failure? As Sir says, it is a heart attack. Heart attack leads to heart failure. Uh, other causes, congenital heart, heart disease like hole in the heart or valvular condition in which if there is wall are not properly opening or there is a leakage that leads to heart failure and that leads to cardiac arrest. And there are some congenital condition in which there is a electrical uh, abnormality like Brugada syndrome and long QT syndrome that also leads to cardiac arrest. So, electrical malformation mainly affect lower chamber of the heart that we used to call it ventricle. And because of that, there is uh, abrupt loss of blood pumping from the heart. So, definitely heart failure leads to cardiac arrest. Thank you. All right, so important to keep that in mind. Well, uh, we have more questions for the doctors, but for the moment, we'll slip into a short break and return with more. Stay with us. Welcome back to our special show, Health and Wellness, Save a Life, where we're talking about the importance of CPR and how knowledge of CPR can help you save a life. Uh, let's return uh, to our doctors now. And Dr. Chaudhary, uh, we spoke earlier about, you know, the importance of CPR and what situation to perform it. But can there be some sort of drawback, some damage? Uh, what happens if too much air gets into the stomach during CPR? Yeah. First, uh, for this Cassius distension, how it affects lung expansion, we have to first understand how lungs works. Lung below, this is a lung and below that there is a, the layer which we used to call it diaphragm which consists of muscle and fiber and below that there is an abdomen. So this diaphragm function as a suspension. When, when we inspire lung expand and this diaphragm goes down, so it creates a space to expand create a space for lungs to expand. So, oxygen and air comes inside the lung. And when we exhale, it gets contracted and this diaphragm comes up. So, when there is a gaseous distension inside the abdomen, that is stomach, so it prevents the diaphragm to go down. So, when we give rescue breathing with forcefully, 
it air goes into the stomach and it leads to gaseous distension and that prevents lungs to expand and that hampers our oxygen so how to prevent it we can prevent it by head tilt and chin lift by proper position we can give rescue breathing effectively and it will increases the survival chances of our cardiopulmonary resuscitation so i am again repeating how to keep your airway patent by head tilt and chin lift so with proper maneuver we can effectively give cardiopulmonary resuscitation and gaseous distension will definitely hampers our effect of cardiopulmonary resuscitation Right, so important for everyone to learn uh, CPR as uh, you know there's so many incidences of uh, heart disease among people especially families. Dr. Chaudhary, now according to our discussion CPR is a life-saving technique. So will CPR always save a life? CPR not always save your life but it increases the chances of your survival by double or triple. And what are the statistics says says Nine out of ten cardiac arrest which occurs outside the hospital won't survive. Either they won't get CPR properly or any bystander won't give it. And out of these outside hospital cardiac arrest episode, seven happens at home. And every heart patient relative should know how to give CPR. And I want to repeat it again. how to give cardiopulmonary resuscitation you have to put your palm hand like this and give compression by keeping your hand on the lower third of the chest and give compression by 5 cm and you have to give it 100 to 120 compression per minute with after every 30 com- compression you have to give two rescue breathing so there is no need of any formal education for cardiopulmonary resuscitation learning just go through some youtube videos you can learn it properly because it's a life saving drug and if you start it as early as possible in first two or in first minute then the chances of survival again increases so everyone should know how to give cpr 